Good morning, students. I believe you are doing okay at home. I welcome you to this e-learning platform using the screen recorder. As you can see on the screen, I am your computer teacher, Mr. Stephen Robson. However, I'm going to disable the camera for now. Please bear with me. Thank you. OS Android and iOS. Those are different operating systems, different platforms. Okay, we have Windows for personal computers like laptops and desktops. We have Mac OS for uh, Macintosh um, systems, that is Apple products. We have Android for um, smartphones and mobile devices such as Samsung, Infinix, iTel, Techno, and the rest of them. We have iOS for Apple mobile devices. So these are operating systems. And uh, uh, Excel is developed for uh, is developed for each of these um, platforms: Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Excel has been a very widely used spreadsheet package and it has replaced Lotus 1 to 3 as the industry standard for spreadsheets. Excel forms part of the Microsoft Office suite of software. Microsoft Office suite is a, 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 a program, a software suite that comes with so many applications. It contains a number of Microsoft Office applications like MS Word, the popular MS Word, um, MS PowerPoint, uh, MS Excel, uh, MS Access, MS Front Page, MS Outlook, MS Publisher, and uh, others. Loading or starting up MS Excel is simple and is similar to loading most, if not all, of computer software packages. I've already said that. Okay, let's see how we can load MS Excel. We, we have various approaches. We have various methods depending on uh, your operating system. Method one, if the Excel icon is placed on the desktop, you double click on it. Simply double click on the Excel icon if it is found on the desktop. If it is found on the taskbar, you click. Take note. If it is found on the desktop, you double click. If it is found on the taskbar, you click once. Please note the difference. Very important. If it is placed on the start menu, you click on it and it will load. And the program will load. How do you locate the start menu? It's very simple. You click start button and the start menu will pop up. You can check whether exit icon is placed on the start menu. All right, step four, I'm sorry, method, method four, rather. If the Excel icon is not placed on any of the above mentioned locations, that is a desktop, taskbar, and start menu, then you perform the general steps, okay? Click the start button, the start menu appears. You select all programs, locate and click Microsoft Office folder from the list of programs. Then you select Microsoft Office Excel to load your program. Okay, let's get to the, this software. I can show you how these methods are done. So this is your desktop where you have um, different icons. Some of the icons here are folders, some are programs, and some are files. So this is your desktop. If the Excel icon is placed on the desktop, you simply click on it. On my desktop, it is placed here. So what do you do to load a program? You simply double click. Double click means you click twice in quick succession. Okay, you double click and the program will load. If you don't double click, you can right click and the shortcut menu pops up and you click open. It's the same thing. It's also acceptable or you click once and press enter key on your keyboard 
the program will load okay they are all um okay, correct okay so that is on the desktop if it is placed on the taskbar where is your taskbar the taskbar is located at the bottom of your screen where you have the stats button right here and the system time and dates okay so this is your start button it contains the icons here these icons represent programs except the first icon here which represents a, a folder okay these other icons represent program this is your internet explorer okay this is your windows media player this is your groom this is your opera and um, all these are programs so you check whether the excel icon is placed on the taskbar if it is placed you click once okay on my taskbar it is it is placed so i'm just going to click once right here and the program will load that is it that's very simple okay method three the start menu i said to 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 enable the start menu you click on the start button this is your start button you click the start button the start menu will pop up this is your start menu okay it comes up and you check whether excel is placed on the start menu okay here we have excel 2007 so if it is placed here you click once and it will load as simple as that okay i said if the excel icon is not placed on on on, on any of the locations then you perform the general types uh, uh, steps by clicking the start button click all programs you locate microsoft office folder here we have one here you have two here Rather, we have two here different versions the first one here is 2007 version and the next one here is 2013 version so you click the folder and locate excel okay you click the program it will load so those are various methods you can load a program to load a program means to start up a program or to invoke a program if you are using windows 7 or windows 10 you can also load the program by searching for it okay you click the start button and here you have a search bar you can see here you can search for programs and you can search for files so if you don't know where your files or you can easily locate your program you can click here and the cursor will blink you can search for it okay for example let's search for excel you type excel and it will come up okay we have two versions 213 and excel 2007 so you can click either of the two and the program will load okay so those are the different ways different methods that you can load a program and this method applies to every other computer program not just to ms excel please take note of that okay let's continue Ex exiting ms excel to exit means to close a program to, to close the current program window to exit program is very simple okay you click the file menu and select close let's return to excel and do just that okay you can load your excel here how do you exit simple is the file menu and you see close the program will close immediately all right so that's exit all right um the next uh, um another method of closing a program is to close the x button which is very common at the top right corner of your screen so if you have this program here and you want to close it so this is your x button you simply close it and the program will close you can also use the shortcut key alternate f4 on the keyboard for any program alternate f4 will work for any active program if you press at an A4, the active program or the active window will close. Okay, so these are the various ways you you can close your program. In case you are asked in exams, you'll be able to state um, properly how a program can be closed. All right, let's proceed with our lesson. The next lesson we shall look at is features, basic features of MS Excel. If you look at the screen, you have 
the MS Excel um, screen and it is properly labeled by your teacher all the sessions are labeled properly so you have a better understanding please study them so you will get acquainted with the working window with the working screen of excel these are um some of the numerous features there are so many of them there are so many features okay contained in excel excel is a a, a very a wide it's it, it, it's a, 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 a very uh, wide application it contains a lot of things we, we will take time to explain the basic ones because time will not permit us to to look at all the features that are contained in ms excel so we have columns, rows, cells, cell border, worksheets, workbook, sheet tab, formula, functions, cell reference, range, name box, formula bar, scroll bars, active cell, row header, column header, header, row heights, column width, zoom slider, format painter, header and footer, sorting and filtering, margin, alignment, page size and orientation, auto sum. It goes on. Charts and graphs, subscript and superscript, table, find and replace, font color and fill color, spelling and grammar, wrap text, font style and font size, comments, clear, match, cell styles, word arts, clip arts, smart arts, hyperlinks, shapes, text box, symbols, struct through, indentation. And let's look at the first one column. A column is a group of cells that run vertically in the grid layout of a worksheet it is a vertical series of cells in a in a spreadsheet each column is identified by column header and labeled with letters in mx excel columns range from a to xfd hence there are 16384 columns in an excel worksheet that is the current versions from 2007 versions till the latest versions other versions may contain viewer number of columns all right let's get to exit so we can explain a column okay, let's load excel okay all right this is our excel uh, window and here are the columns column a column b column b okay the, 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 the group of cells that runs vertically in your worksheets and are labeled with letters a b c okay I hope you are following and the column header here enables you to identify um, the column you are working on okay we shall get to that the column header and the row header all right so altogether we have um 16384 columns from a to x fd now to get to the last column you click sorry you you press control key and the right arrow key simultaneously xfd okay this is the last column fxd now to return to the first column control and right sorry left arrow key okay to move to the to the to the first column okay now let's continue Number two, rows. A row is a series of cells that run that runs horizontally in a grid layout of a worksheet. Each row is identified by a row header and numbered with numeric values like one to three of okay. In MS Excel, there are one million forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy six rows in a worksheet. Let's get to Excel so I can explain that. Okay, so this is row. This is your row from row one, row two, row three. Okay, a series of cells that that that, that runs horizontally, horizontally across your worksheet. Okay. Now there are so many number of cells. Let's get to the last um, a cell. How do you how do you do, how do you do that? You hold down your control key 
and you press the down arrow key it gets to the last row which is 1,048,576 and this is the row header to the beginning of the row to row 1 control and up arrow key okay all right let's continue i hope you are with me The next feature is column header. I've already explained that. I've shown you the column header. Okay, it is the, the, the gray colored row containing the letters A, B, C used to identify each column in the worksheet. Row header is the gray colored column containing the numbers 1, 2, 3 used to identify each row in the worksheet. I've already shown you that. Column width, this refers to the width of a column which must be adjusted to fit its content properly. Okay, let's let's illustrate that. Let's go back to our Excel. The column width, the width of the column from this point to this point. I hope you are observing what I'm doing. From this point to this point is the width of column A. Okay, you can adjust this column. Just hold down, okay, this line, click and hold down and drag to adjust to increase or enlarge the width of the column or you can reduce by dragging to your left make sure you hold down your mouse button while you click and and drag to enlarge or to reduce okay if you are entering a, a, a record like um examination okay and maybe your column was not large enough to fit in the content properly like in this case if you increase the font to maybe 20 or 24 you, you can see that this text alone covers column a column b column c this is not appropriate it has to it, 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 it has to be fixed in in just one column so you adjust this column to to, to fit in that word examination okay that is how to work with uh, the column um width okay let's look at the next feature which is the row heights i hope you are following okay the row heights it simply refers to the height of a row which must be adjusted to fit its content properly let's return to excel Okay, so this is your row row one row two uh, okay assuming your row um was not big enough to contain this font maybe you you have font as big as 38 as you can see some 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 part of the word is not uh, displayed that means the, the the width sorry the height of the row is not uh, long enough to to, to, to contain the word properly so what do you do you have to adjust the height of the row so you click here okay after the row one the line after row, row one and adjust you move make, make sure that, that you go down the mouse button the left mouse button and drag downward to increase the height of the one now it has fixed in that word properly okay i hope you are with me so that is how to work with the row heights and the column width okay the next feature is a cell now, what is a cell a cell is an intersection of a row and column they are small rectangular boxes in the worksheet where we enter and store data a cell can only store one piece of data at a time it can store text value numeric value formula or date value now let's return to excel and explain that so this is a cell um let's let's remove that return our worksheet back to the normal uh, uh, steps okay so each of this rectangular box is called a cell and it is an intersection of column and row so when you click a cell observe this e and four okay so this is a cell row e 
and sorry column e and row four so that is excel and it can contain a value can contain text can contain uh, 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 dates and time can contain and can contain currency and other valid data okay each cell is identified by the um combination of column letter and row heights let me slide show that okay each cell is identified by the combination of column letter and row number i've already explained that column um, uh, e and row five for example okay for example self f9 lies at the intersection of column f and row nine so altogether we have 17 million one hundred and seventy oh that is 17 billion rather sorry at 17 billion 179 billion million eight hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred and eighty four cells let me let me say that again 17 billion one hundred and seventy nine million eight hundred and sixty nine thousand one hundred and eighty four cells that is a lot of cells per excel worksheets okay all right so th th that's the number of cells or two that we have in a typical uh, excel sheet so many so many range in ms excel a range is a collection or group of selected cells take notes group of what selected cells let me, let me explain that let's get back to turn to our excel so when you highlight a group of cells you are forming a range so that is a range very simple you highlight vertically you form a range you highlight horizontally that is a range i hope you are with me so a range is what a group of selected cells all right okay a range can be used inside a formula for example a1 to a6 is a range and this is a formula this is an excel formula which calculates the sum of the values within the selected cells okay we shall we shall, we shall um uh, talk more or discuss more on that as we proceed all right number nine cell reference this is a, the unique address of a cell very simple the unique address or identifier of a cell this address is made up of column letter and row number hence examples of cell reference may include a4 f30 t16 etc each cell in the worksheet has a, a name and that name is called a cell reference or a, an address which is called cell reference cell references are extensively used in formulas and charts let me this is slideshow so you have a better view all right so let's return to excel so i can explain uh, how cell reference uh, is manipulated or how it works in ms excel okay so if you click on a cell the cell reference is shown here on this small box call the name box which i'll get to that like a3 is shown there g4 is displayed there g4 that is the cell reference of this very cell so each cell on a sheet has its own unique identifier its own unique address called cell reference and the cell reference must always begin with a letter you can't begin with a number that would be wrong begin with a letter c or a depending on where the cell is located all right i hope you are following and let's continue active cell is the selected cell or the current cell the cell reference of the active cell is displayed on the name box i've already explained that when i was uh, showing you how the cell reference works name box this is a small text field or box to the left of this of, of the formula bar that display that displays the cell reference of an active cell it can also be called address box okay let me let me briefly show you that um let's open the excel and 
this a small toolbar that display that displays the, 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 the name of the the, 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 the cell reference of the uh, active cell okay so this is e6 and it is displayed on the name box all right okay formula bar this is a toolbar that displays or shows the contents of an active cell it it allows users to create formula it can also be used to edit data or formula in the active cell it is labeled with with function symbol fx okay, let's see the formula bar the formula bar let's get to excel so this bar is called the formula bar any data you that you enter on a cell will be displayed on the formula bar that's what it says All right let's enter for example um king as you can see this it is displaying at the same time on the formula bar so the formula bar it displays or it shows the contents of the active cell okay i hope you are following that's very simple um let's continue let's continue we have defined the formula bar now what is a formula in excel a formula is an expression that operates on values in a cell okay or a range of cells it operates on values on a cell or on a range of cells every excel formula must begin with an equality sign that is very important each time you want to enter a formula on a cell you must begin it with an equality sign so a formula is an expression that helps you to carry out a specific calculation okay you want to perform uh, addition you want to perform subtraction you want to perform um, uh, uh, square root or product of numbers then you have to enter a formula in a cell to perform such such an operation okay for example if this formula equal sign a1 plus a2 plus a3 can also be written equal sign sum in brackets a1 uh, colon a3 this is a range that defines cell between a1 and a3 okay which finds the sum of the range of values from the cell a1 to cell a3 so this is a, a formula we have functions in ms excel a function is a predefined or preset formula that performs calculations using specific using sp sp specific values in a particular order Common functions in MS Excel include sum, product, average, count, max, mean, if, and, sum if, sin, cos, um, sqrt for square root, and so many others. There are so many uh, uh, formulas in MS Excel. We will take time to 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 work on to to discuss on formula. I will show you how you can use formula in Excel to to perform cal cal calculation. Formula and functions they 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 they, 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 they work hand in hand in, in Excel when you are performing an operation. Next feature uh, is the cell border. This is the rectangular outline that surrounds a cell. Next sheet tabs. A sheet tab or worksheet tab is a small button that is located at the bottom of the screen that allows users to navigate between the, the different worksheets of an Excel file. It is used to display the, the worksheets that a user is currently working on every excel file may have multiple multiple worksheets that is many worksheets but the default number is three these tabs are labeled sheet one sheet two and sheet three now, now let, let, let me briefly illustrate that let's turn to our excel now this is the sheet tab okay sheet one sheet two sheet three at the bottom of your screen now these sheets indicates uh, different pages okay you can choose to to to, to work on a, a, a js1 student in sheet one then js2 student in, 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 in on sheet two and js2 student on sheet two it enables you to 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 partition your work so that you, you have control over your your, your 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 work okay you can rename the sheets if you if you so desire just right click and choose rename and then you enter js1 
as a case may be oh okay so that those are sheet tabs okay and um, so far so good i've been able to look at 16 features that are found in in ms Excel. like i said there are so many features they are they are, they are, they are, they are quite numerous we, 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 we take time to explain the basic ones so it will help you to 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 know what to do and how to create your excel file because it is very important that you know exactly what to do when you want to create an excel file and we've come to the end of our lesson and uh, for this week please i want to charge you to continue to read your books do not relax because um a, 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 a learning continues despite the, the outbreak of the covid 19. i have an assignment for you please take time to do the assignment number one list five components or parts of an excel formula differentiate clearly between special package and database application please find time to send your question and or comments to the email below ss1 at bradfuturecollege.com thank you so much for um listening and we meet again next week bye for now